Woo! Got one. Good one. Up shallow, shallow. In that dock. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a review of our best drop shot baits from the year. This year was a really good year for us finesse wise. We had a lot of up and down weather patterns. We had a lot of up and down water and the drop shot when you're working a lot of new water, when you're trying to get pressured fish to bite is a great bait. So let's dive into some of these baits. I'm basing this list off of what worked for me the best this so, year. I the first bait by far most productive for me is this blunt nose minnow from Berkeley Powerbait Max Scent. For whatever reason, this bait absolutely gets bit in tough conditions. If you're talking early spring, late fall, winter time, cold, hot, whenever, if the fish are chasing bait fish, smaller bait fish profiles, this is an excellent bait to get bit. I've caught smallmouth on it. I've caught big largemouth on it. I've caught spotted bass. This thing flat out gets bit. Now, to go with this max in, this bait fish profile, right? It looks really, really, really good nose hooked on a drop shot. And when you nose hook this bait on a drop shot, you get a minnow, minnow profile. And this minnow profile right here gets bit by just about every game fish you can imagine, right? A clear water killer. Now, if you follow bass fishing news and you follow tournament fishing, the bait of choice this year for a lot of the top guys has been the Maxent Flatworm, right? The Flatworm looks very similar to the Blunt Nose Minnow, but the Flatworm is 10 times harder to find. I've had two packs all year that I could get a hold of, right? This Flat Nose Minnow gets bit just like the Flatworm. I've had no letdown on it. Both of these baits are phenomenal options in clear water, around smallmouth. They're going to get bit. Now, a bait that I, I have always trusted, Texas rigged. I haven't drop shotted a lot until this year. Early in the year, I found a lot of fish hanging out around docks, sunning themselves, getting their eggs warm, and they would not bite anything until I nose hooked a zoom fluke or a Guggen dart or whatever bait you want to have that looks like this fluke. And if you shake this in place and twitch it up and down, it looks like, it looks like a bait fish up against a piling coming out of the weeds. This will absolutely positively generate bites when nothing else will. It has been my second best producing bait besides the max scent on a drop shot this year. That fluke nose hooked has been an absolute killer. Now, my next bait is a classic, classic bait, and it really, really, really worked for me well this year. I don't know if a lot of guys have gotten away from it, but drop shotting a Zoom Super Finesse Worm. Nose hook this bait, wacky hook this bait. If you're on a lake that gets a lot of pressure, this is an absolute killer, right? Right, this seven inch, Finesse worm will get bites and it will get big bites on the drop shot. A lot of guys throw these on shaky heads. A lot of guys throw these on Nico rigs. For whatever reason, a lot of people have gotten away from drop shotting that big worm in terms of a go-to staple drop shot bait. This worm right here has killed for me on Lake Wallacee, on Tippy Lake, on Webster Lake where you want a bigger worm profile to entice that bigger bite. The Zoom Super Finesse Worm has absolutely killed it. Has absolutely killed it. Now, our last bait here that has been a real standout this year is the Missile Baits Bomb Shot. And what the Bomb Shot is, is it's a bait that looks a lot like the Flat Worm, except this has rib segments here in the body and a flat tail. You nose hook that bait and what it does is this bait is has an exquisite motion underwater. It looks fantastic. It also is unassuming. This bait in watermelon red flake, I caught, I'm not lying, about 100 fish on a hot day on Wallacee on this bait right here. This bait flat out will catch fish, 
big fish, small fish, anything that swims, that missile baits bomb shot is a fantastic thing to throw when you're looking for a different profile. Now, another bait that has worked really, another bait that has worked really, 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 really well for me this year has been drop shotting a swim bait. The Kitek Fat Swing Impact 3.5 to 4.6 is an absolute killer when you swim it through schools of fish. You throw that drop shot out, you let it fall, and ultimately this looks like a bait fish coming through, but it's unassuming. You can keep it in the strikes out a long time. That's you can dawdle it around right through the weeds and it gets bit. It drops flat out. out gets bit. So guys, when I'm throwing my drop shot, especially in grass lakes, a lot of guys go way too heavy on their drop shots. My drop shot weight of choice is a quarter ounce, right? I throw Wu Tungsten everything. Tungsten gives you an advantage in feeling, subtle differences in rock and shell, and tungsten flat out will get the bait down faster. Now, if I want the bait on bottom, I'm throwing a quarter ounce. If I want that bait to slow fall, I'll go all the way down to an eighth ounce tungsten. Now, I like the cylinder weight better than the teardrop in grass lakes. If I'm around a lot of rock, I like the teardrop better. But the quarter ounce and one eighth ounce are my typically most used sizes. Now, if I go up to the Great Lakes, or I go to a super deep lake like a Cumberland or a Dale Hollow where fish are hanging out deeper, I'm gonna bump up to that half ounce, right? That half ounce only gets the call if I'm fishing about 25 to 28 feet or deeper and the fish are on the bottom. Most of the time in grass lakes and shallower lakes around here, I'm throwing that quarter ounce. It is a standard. It kills for me in terms of generating bites and does a fantastic job of keeping that bait in the bite zone, in that strike zone of those fish, right? If you guys haven't thrown a drop shot, you need to check it out. It's a fantastic bait to throw, a great bait to get fishing, a great bait to get beginners on fish in tough conditions. So thanks for hanging out with us today on the channel, guys. Let us know in the comment section what baits you want us to review, what techniques you want us to go over, what lakes you want us to hit next. Thanks for hanging out today, guys. If you liked the video, give us a like and sub. We'll see you next time.